No. <clears throat> yes. Like, comment, subscribe. And ring the bell. <clears throat> How's everybody doing? It is, I have no clue what day it is. Not sure what time it is. Oh, wait, I set my alarm to go off at 3, 3 p.m., 1500. And it said it was three hours away, so that makes it about noon. I'm sitting in a travel plaza in New York. Um, I don't remember what city it is, but I came in last night. Uh, I'm about 35, maybe 40 miles from my 01. I was only 100 miles from my 01, but, and I could have stayed at my 90. But they had no bathroom, and I've been there already a day. I needed to use the restroom, and bada bing, bada bang. One thing led to another. Plus, I just couldn't see just sitting there. It was, I think, one in the morning. No, it was 11:30 at night when they unloaded me, and I was worried about running and finding parking over here because it was limited. So I picked two spots. And the first spot, this spot here was my, this is your last spot in route that you're gonna be able to park. If you miss this one, you're gonna have to go out of route to find parking. Well, my first spot, I'm driving and I'm like, my first spot was about 50 miles from my 01. And I was like 60 miles. So I checked, I took the spot out of my GPS I took the spot out of my GPS, so I was going to my final spot. So I was like, damn, I hope freaking, uh, I hope uh, I'm going to get a parking spot. I figured I'm going to, ha I have to, there's no choice. So I figured if nothing else, I would just, you know, kind of just park in a bad spot and just sit up until somebody left. Um... Man, she's dirty. We gotta get her washed. We're gonna have to hit up Blue Beacon. But uh, I ended up just parking along the curb. Parked along the curb. Went to bed, now check it out. Hit my camera button here, I'll get me a picture with blue so dirty oh you know what no i didn't put it in front of there let me climb inside real quick get out of this noise oh it's so dirty in here from all the snow and muck and everything else that you track in during uh foul dirty weather I gotta wash the floors. I've been keeping, I've been keeping old uh, shirts, undershirts, over here that I'm no longer wear. I use them as rags. I've been keeping them to keep the floor wiped up. <clears throat> but I'll tell you, it's a losing battle because of all the salt and snow on the ground. Ah. So I'm going to be heading to Tennessee after I pick this load up at, picks up at five. And uh, I'll be heading to Tennessee and uh, I'll, I'm going to stop and get my truck washed at some point over there. Because, you know, you can only, you only run it so, so bad. <laughs> but anyways, <clears throat> so... Yesterday, I get to the 90 at like 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. I dropped that video. And I was tired running over there. It was only a 360-some mile run. I stopped on the way there, took a shower on my 30-minute break. 
Um, and if you're wondering, why'd you take a 30 minute break? You're only running 300 some, because I started with starting on recaps and my recaps were coming in. It, it was just a time issue. I could have made it, but it would have been like, if I'd have made a wrong turn, I'd have been doing a 30 on the side of the road. So I stopped and did a 30. Then after that, I drove for another maybe 100 miles and no, man, I, my lights out, lights out. You got to know when it's time to pull over and shut down. Um, I don't know why, but I was deadly tired. I mean, to where I could feel my body was just saying, nah, David, uh-uh, man, you need to do something. Um, so I pulled into one rest area and there was nowhere to stop. I pulled into another one, nowhere to stop. So at this point, I'm just freaking dying. And I finally, uh, there's a, a pilot coming up. So I hit the, you know, hit the pilot. And of course, it's a toll to get off. Damn it. I wonder how much that cost. Went and found a spot at the pilot, did a 30 minute nap. And then um, got up, jumped on, paid the toll to get back on the 90. Wonder how much that cost. And cruised over to the uh, to the receiver, and I think I was only at that point like 60 miles away. I couldn't make it. I knew. I mean, I could have pushed it, but I knew, David. Don't be stupid, man. There ain't no reason to be pushing it. Go take a nap. And uh, so I did. And then you know it was cake driving the rest of the way there, wide awake, because yeah, 30 minute naps wake me right up normally. Um, you know, I hadn't been sleeping well. I've been only sleeping four, five hours, six hours at a time. So I get there, I check in, and I go to sleep. I slept four or five hours, I think it was, woke up, and I was up the rest of the day fiddle farting around, talking to Melissa, um, YouTube, you know, watching the YouTube stuff, and, you know, just kind of kicking back, just kind of burned out. And I realized, you know what, you need to freaking, you need to, you, you're going to end up getting a load and driving on, you know, whatever. And so I got a pre-plan that picks up, picked up the next day at 5 o'clock, 5 p.m., 1700. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. So I slept all day, not realizing I only slept five, six hours, but I called it all day. Then I'm going to go unload, you're going to go unload tonight at freaking midnight, drive 100 miles, shut down and be down for 14 hours and then drive all night tonight how am I going to do that how am I going to sleep when I shut down I just slept all day well last night I was cruising over here and I'm like damn I can't believe how tired I feel what the hell I've barely dr been driving for 20 minutes so I get to this spot and I shut down. And I think oh, this is gonna suck. I'm gonna probably sleep for a half hour and be up all night, and it, tomorrow's gonna suck. Now I go to sleep or birth and go lay my head down on the pillow. I wake up. Melissa calls me. I wake up because I forgot to shut my ringer off. I wake up and I've been sleeping for nine hours and forty-five minutes straight. How the, I guess I guess my body finally said, F you, you're going to bed. And you know, that's funny because I remember running solo. Um, that's how I do. I'd, I'd have bad, bad sleep, 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 you know, bad sleeps, and then just crash for a whole 10 hour break. I bet you if she didn't call, I probably would have slept uh, up until, well, my alarm was going to go off in uh, 15 minutes because I set my alarm for 10 hours because I knew I didn't need to be up. I set uh, th only three alarms, too. I did uh, one 10 hours, and then I did a, a 10 hours and 15 minute alarm, and then I did a 10 and a half hour screaming meanie. So I just went in, used the restroom, cleaned up a little bit, and uh, ate some lunch. Worst lunch I've ever had. Where was I at? Checkers. Checkers, crazy food. don't like their french fries they're some kind of a seasoned fry which didn't like them their burger was you know this was a $13 meal travel plaza 
their burger was small, okay, and I'm not complaining, well, yeah, I am complaining because of how small it was for the price of it, but that's all right, you know, you don't need a giant burger always, what I'm complaining about is the taste of it, it, whatever sauce they used on there, I, I don't know, it just didn't have that great of a flavor, but it was, uh, there was, it was like greasy, it was really greasy, um, I don't know. I don't know. It, it was soggy. I, I just didn't like it. I, I, it wasn't my favorite. Um, I wish I would have got a hot dog out of there or something. Uh, but uh, you had Tim Hortons and you had Checkers. There was some Italian place in there, but it's closed for the season. I guess Italians don't cook in the winter. Anyways, I'm going to go back there and check out uh, the trailer. I did a quick peek when I they unloaded me, and the trailer looked good. So I just got to go do a quick cleanup. I'll take you guys with me. Let me get the chest harness on, and uh, we'll go have a look. Meanwhile, damn it, I forgot to do it at the beginning of the video. Don't forget to subscribe to David H. and Melissa H., husband and wife traveling across America. Sorry, trucking across America on YouTube. Um, and uh, my Instagram is at David H. 6571. I also got uh, a driver code. It's H A G G D A, Hagda. If any of you guys uh, coming to Prime want to uh, throw me a little bone and put me down as a referral, I'd appreciate it. Um, you know, feel free to ask any questions uh, about anything. I'll answer what I know. Yeah. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Like this video. This all helps. You know... Whenever I go to a YouTube channel, uh, Trucker Brown, uh, Cop Watch, all any channel I ever go to listen to, I always hit the like button, okay? Um, I don't ever hit a dislike button just because dislike and like really helps the channel because it shows you're interacting, but, you know, when you look at someone's channel, they got 100 likes and 2 dislikes. Why should I make it three? Obviously, the majority likes the uh, programming, and, you know, why why make the guy have a bummer? But anyways, anyways, yeah, it helps the channel. If you guys like watching my videos, uh, liking them, subscribing, telling your friends, sharing it out on Facebook, um, you know, it all helps, man. It uh, it keeps keeps me motivated. You know, if no one's... If I, if I don't feel anyone's watching the videos or whatnot, you... How do you stay motivated into make them, uh, into making them? Well, right now I'm not really motivated to do anything, but that will change. You know, life's going to change. Things will get better. <laughs>